Hi, you guys. So I am here with another wonderful word from the Lord. Um, I have been trying to get this out for a little while now. I've recorded it twice um, and on my phone and it has it. I'm in the middle of recording right at the very end every time and it just cuts off. It's like somebody doesn't want you guys to have this word. Well, I'm on my computer and it's going to get to you one way or another. That's all I got to say about that. Um, anyway, um, I hope you guys are all doing well today. I am. We are having some crazy, wonderful weather in Northern California. Um, hail, but it actually looked like snow. Like literally, it was coming down like snow and lots of thunder. And it just like, we're in Northern California, you guys. That's crazy. Um, and not like North, North, like in the Sierras or anything. We're in the Valley, like Sacramento, between Sacramento and San Francisco. I'm not going to tell you my exact location, but anyway, <laughs> you know, cause I am on YouTube and you know, anyway, um, so crazy cool weather. Thank you, Lord. I love the thunder. It's the voice of the Lord and it's amazing. So anyway, I'm going to get this word out. Um, I just hope you guys are finding yourselves amazing today and um, let me pray real quick before I release the word. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, I just thank you um, for the honor to get on here and to speak what you're saying right now, Father, in these times. Um, I thank you for using me in this way for you and for your kingdom and for your glory. Um, I ask that you would bless your, bless your people, bless your children, bless everybody that's watching this. Father, I just lift them up to you and um, just protect them. I plead the blood of Jesus over them and their their families. And uh, we just love you. We honor you. We glorify your holy name. In Jesus' name, amen. All right. So I got this word on 5-5-2022. And um, it's just a really wonderful word. So let me just get to it. Uh, the Lord says to my darling children, remember in my word when it says, greater is he that is in greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. I want you to get this down in your hearts. Repeat it over and over out loud until you really feel the power that comes from these words. You need my power behind you during these times you're living in to give you that extra boost of strength. You are more powerful than you know. You have the one and only my son, Jesus, who lives on the inside of you. Don't forget whose child you are. My love for you is so great, and right now I see so many of my children wanting to give up and quit. You can't quit, children. Your victory over these mass manipulations is oh so close. My children are overcomers and never give up. When that lying devil tries to steal the joy that is following, the, sorry, that is flowing deep and wide from me. Um, let me start that over. I got distracted because I heard a horn blow. Um, let's see. When that lying devil tries to steal the joy that is flowing deep and wide from me, you have to pick up up your swords and swing don't you forget that you have don't you forget that you have my holy angels right next to you also I am with you my my angels are with you call on me and know I am there at that very moment even when you can't feel me close I am there be strong and courageous in the battle speak to the mountains to move out of your way and they will move I know you're tired come come to me spend time with me and I will refresh you and give you strength to and give you the strength to keep fighting I told you it would get tough but I'm telling you you haven't seen anything yet my children my miracle signs and wonders will continue to pour out from heaven as you take those leaps of faith. Be bold in your faith, bold in your thoughts and your words. Speak life out of your mouths. Don't doubt who I am and what I can do. I'll give you the world. 
if you just believe. I will give you every desire of your heart if you believe. For am I not the one who put it there? Lift up your faith. Pray and ask me to help you in your faith. We can build it together. I can accomplish in you and through you. I can accomplish anything. Sorry. I can accomplish anything in you and through you if you will let me. Wake up the dreams I put down in your heart. They have been sleeping for far too long. Get ready for breakthrough in your life. Sorry. Get ready for breakthroughs in your life. Right in the middle of the storms around you. Don't look at the storms. Look at me, the great I am. The one who made you and molded you into the creative, talented person that you are today. Rise up, my children, and remember, I am for you. And if I am for you, who can be against you? As seems to as as things seem to look a little more crazy because they will, don't forget who is really in charge. Be strong and courageous for me, your loving Heavenly Father. And that is it. That is the word that the Lord had for you today. And he gave me Psalm 37, 1 through 6. And I'll read that to you. And so, uh, starting in 1, verse 1, 37, 1. Never envy the wicked. Soon they will fade away like grass and disappear. Trust in the Lord instead. Be kind and good to others. Then you will live safely here in the land and prosper, feeding in safety. Be delighted with the Lord. Then he will give you all your heart's desires. Commit everything you do to the Lord. Trust him to help you to do it, and he will. Glory, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, thank you, thank you, Lord, for that word. Oh, my goodness. His words are so encouraging, you guys, and we need all the encouragement we can get right now, like, for real. I'm just saying. Um, it has been, it's, 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 it's been a little bit crazy, you guys, and it's looking crazier, 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 as the days go by. But this craziness is about to end in Jesus' name. Right, you guys? Seriously, it's about to end in Jesus' name. And I'm so excited. I hope you guys are excited too. I really, really do. Because it is such an exciting time to be alive. We are so blessed and fortunate to be able to see and live through this, you guys. It may look ugly right now, you know? And it is going to get uglier, like, like the Lord said. It's going to get uglier. But wait until we get to the other side of this. Just wait. Oh my gosh, you guys, it's so exciting. You know, I just I I just want you to jump out of your seats and get excited with me. For real. It's so exciting that the Lord chose us to be here right now. Like we get to see and be alive for the great exodus. The great exodus. Not just the exodus. Like the great exodus. He's gonna do something bigger than part the Red Sea like he did back in the book of Exodus. So, and it's coming, you guys. It's coming soon. So just hold on tight. Hold on because we are right there. We are right there. So anyway, I hope this encouraged you today. It surely encourages me every time I get a word from the Lord because I get it first. <laughs> I do. So it's such a blessing, you know, and I just get so excited. Like, I, like after I get a word, I read over it because I don't, you know, I don't know what I'm what I'm writing. And so then I, you know, sometimes I just, I just pray and I thank you for the word. And then, you know, a little bit time passes and I go back and I read it and I'm just blown away. And I'm just like, thank you, father. Thank you so much, you know? And so, um, I just really hope that this blessed you today and encouraged you. Um, just keep your faith in him. Remember who you are. Greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. I've had to say that over and over and over and over and over in my life to, overcome situations that I've been in and I've been in some crazy ones, you know, and I just know, um, it has helped me. I mean, it has, it, it has helped me to overcome and don't quit. He's saying, do not quit. You're an overcomer. His word says so be bold and courageous for him right now. You guys 
let's get out there. I know there's more of you out there that should be on here on YouTube and, and, and doing this. And so if I can do it, you can do it. Get up and, and if God is asking you to get on here and, and say something, speak something, even if it's just encouraging words, it doesn't have to be a prophetic word. It could just be an encouraging word, you know, to minister. Do it. If God is asking you to do something, do it. I'm telling you. It's it's so rewarding. It's so refreshing. And and um, I'm just, I, I feel honored and blessed that he's asked me to do this. Um, I never thought that I could. And I still can't believe that I am. It's quite crazy. And um, anyway, I love you guys. Be blessed. And I will be back soon. Bye. Have a great day. Bye.